Yo, first off, I would like to say, this is first and foremost, I'm from the town. Second off, first off, what's up? It's your nigga, Ice City 5 1 motherfucking. Oh. Well, the blunt is lit. That means the video must start. Um, this is my third time doing this video. Um, I'm doing it about my favorite game series, game franchise, Resident Evil. If you haven't read the title and you just clicked on this video because you've seen a handsome gentleman on your TV screen, I can't fucking blame you. You mean like, damn, this nigga handsome. Let me see what this nigga talking about. And handsome, that's a word, real quick. That's what a man can call another man. It's handsome. If you call him cute, you gay. So, I'm here to talk about Resident Evil, um, the whole series, how I feel like it's the best game series that's came out since I've owned a system that I can remember. And um, that has stuck with me through all my years of me just playing video games. And I'm going to take you down this journey. Hopefully, this video is probably going to be about 25 to 30 minutes. Just letting y'all know right now in this first minute and 40, you know what I'm saying, 40 seconds or whatever. But here we go. So, my history of why Resident Evil is a good, and what I mean by... A good game or the best game series franchise I'm looking at I don't have like a random list so if I put my hands up like this it's just because I'm doing it it's a thing to do so like one um, motherfucking um, it's awesome the story is awesome it's about motherfucking the zombie apocalypse um, in the city the shit breaking out zombies taking over motherfuckers people got to get out you know what I'm saying it kind of just start it shows you it ain't just like something where it's like, oh, how did this shit start? Like, you know how it started. It was Umbrella. They did some old, they doing some virus. They created some G-Virus or some shit like that. Got into people, start turning motherfuckers, living dead zombies. Outbreak happened. That's Resident Evil. So the story's cool. Two, it is about zombies and it's about action. And um, it's not a first person shooter. I wasn't really big on first person shooters. I don't know if they had them out back when uh, PS1 was coming out because if they did I wasn't playing those motherfuckers um C um nigga the guns is cool the leveling up in the game is good it's good boss fighters boss fighters it's good boss fighting boss fight scenes it's good um yeah the story the, the dialogue the the controllers, you know what I'm saying? It's every aspect that you need in a, in a survival game. And it's not just horror, like, you know what I'm saying? It's puzzles, it's, it's challenging, it's all this shit. So, Resident Evil 1, Director's Cut. They uh, came out on a PS1. It started off, you was uh, Chris Redfield, you was stuck in a mansion, and you basically had to figure out what the fuck was going on. I don't know why in movies and in scenes as white people or shit like that, but motherfuckers always want to split up. So them niggas split up in the mansion, you have to figure out some shit. I want to say res on record, Resident Evil Director's Cut is the only Resident Evil's game that I did not beat whole or complete. Like, I didn't beat it. It was too fucking hard. Like, back in the days... They made games fucking challenging. Like, they don't make game challenging no more. When is the last time you had a game and you couldn't beat it on normal? Nah, yeah. It was probably back in PlayStation 1 was out. You know what I'm saying? They just, they don't do that shit no more. That's why, I, if you ain't seen my PS4 rant, um, check it out. It's on this channel. But, yeah, the PlayStation 4, and it kind of started doing that with PS3, too. They kind of started taking the difficulties away in games, making the shit hard to play. Fucking mustache. It's all on my nose and shit. So, um... You know what I'm saying? I didn't beat Resident Evil 1. It was a, it was a really, really good game. Uh, the thing about Resident Evil, like it had guns. It had healing factors. You had to mix herbs, red herb. A green herb was health. A red herb mixed with a green herb uh, revived your life back 100%, no matter how much damage you had. 
You know what I'm saying? Uh, they had herbs for poison. They had different type of handguns. They had shotguns. They had grenade launchers. They had magnums. They had zombies, monsters, the whole shit. And it was just all in a mansion. The aiming was a third person aim. So you aimed like this. You can see you can see your person aiming. That's what a third person aim is. First person shooter is you seeing like you is the actual person. You the first person. A third person is you seeing somebody see something. So that's 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 third person. So the aim was like this. Or you can aim to the left, you can aim to the right, you can spin around, you can aim up, you can aim down. That was on Resident Evil 1. Um, really good game and introduced the story. Resident Evil 2 now is also on the PlayStation 1. Um, this time it was a side A, side B. I did not know that when I first bought the game. I remember my granny used to take me to the... Um, to the Oakland, to the Coliseum flea market. That's where I used to buy games at on the weekend for the cheap. I, I never knew when I was a kid why the games were so cheap there, but I niggas know now. If you want cheap games, nigga, take your ass to the flea market and buy your ass a game. But now I just download the shit off the internet. So I got Resident Evil 2. My granny got that shit for me. Um, you know what I'm saying? This game had, like I said, a side A, side B. You can play as Claire on side A. On side B, you can play as Leon. Now, this game was a little more intense from the last Resident Evil. I already knew what I was getting into, and I feel like I had a personal vendetta with this game because I fucking didn't beat the last one. And I didn't, and I'm very, very competitive. You know what I'm saying? I hate to lose, and whatever I'm, I don't give a fuck. Nigga, if I was playing rock, paper, scissors, nigga, who can count to 10 the fastest, drawing straws, whoever get the shortest. I hate to lose. So I felt like I owed this game an ass whipping. So I got this game again. This shit was fucking scary. They had the motherfucking liquors crawling on the walls, birds and dogs busting through windows, zombies running at you through fires. When the game started off, you was a motherfucking in a flame of fire and it was like five zombies around you. I think I died the first couple of times. I'm like, I don't even got enough bullets to shoot all these zombies, but you had to shoot a zombie, knock his ass down and run by that nigga. You know what I'm saying? So that was going on in Resident Evil 2. Uh, you can play as Claire, you can play as Leon. Uh, once again, the aiming was the third person shooter. You aim like this, you aim up, you aim down, you can aim to the sides and shit like that. When it came to switching your guns, you had to press the start button or I believe it was the triangle button and it allowed you to go to a menu where you had an inventory and you can switch your weapons and stuff. Now, um, I don't know if it was the second one. If, I'm pretty sure by the second one, they start giving you these things to where you'll find shit and then make your inventory bigger. So you might start off with a handgun, a shotgun, and some bullets and one health kit. And you got room to carry probably like three or four more things. As you advance in the game, you're going to be carrying more shit. You might have to carry around some items to open some doors, some puzzles, this piece going in this door, then you got to go in this room, put that in there complete this little mission and go out, go a whole nother way, find another piece, walk all the way back to the room, put that in the door, leave, go there, go to the last door, do that, fight somebody on your way back, you might have to fight somebody else, like, it was shit like that going on in Resident Evil, so, that was going on with the inventory and the guns and the shit, um, as the, far as the puzzle aspect, the game was very challenging. I remember it was a part of the game of Resident Evil 2. I was playing with Claire, and it came to this part of the game where you had to fucking, um, you have to do this certain thing, and you have to turn on this circuit shit so you can cut this train on. And if you didn't do the circuit shit right, you couldn't get on the train. If you couldn't get on the train, you couldn't go further in the level. So I was stuck on that shit for like two or three hours. I just had to start the game all the way over, and this was already like, six seven like five hours of gameplay so i'm like all right i know the first little part let me just and with resident evil you never know what you're gonna get you start off somewhere and you end up you, you don't know where you end up you get it on a plane an underground train a boat some shit so 
Resident Evil 2, you know what I'm saying? So I, Resident Evil, and this is what I mean by good game. Each time they came out with a new game, it was a whole nother aspect of the game. So Resident Evil 1, they introduced it. You was Chris, you was in the mansion. Resident Evil 2, you was Chris' sister, Claire, and you also had Leon. They was a part of Star's special team or whatever, trying to stop the Umbrella Virus. You can either be Claire, you can beat the game with her. You can either be Leon, you can beat the game with him, you can beat the game with both. You know what I'm saying? Resident Evil 3. I think this is where they had Jill Valentine in there. Resident Evil 3 was motherfucking Resident Evil Nemesis. Now, if y'all don't know this, or if y'all probably seen the Resident Evil movie, I can't remember if they did a movie with the Nemesis or not, but the Nemesis is the nigga that just, he basically like the motherfucking, if the Terminator was a zombie. That's, that's who the nemesis is. If the Terminator was a motherfucking zombie, that's who the nemesis would be. So this bitch had this nigga chasing her the whole fucking game. And I mean, like, you might have to do a boss fight, and after your boss fight, you gotta fight this nigga. And he taking bullets, you shooting him, he just walking. You bow, 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 uh, 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 rocket launchers, grenades. Man, you hit this nigga with a grenade or something, he get mad, he might start running at you now. You know what I'm saying? So, that was the motherfucking nemesis. Um, the thing I also liked about Resident Evils was, once you beat the game, like, the thing I remember about beating that game after you beat the nemesis on Resident Evil 3, they fucking gave you, um, new costumes, it unlocks shit in the game that wasn't in the game before, like, uh, it's the shit called Mercenaries Mode, where you can be different characters, and you just run around, and you gotta kill zombies in a certain time limit, um, you can, it's an, an, another hard mode, you used to have to beat the game to get the hard mode on there, and then, uh, they, like I said, they give you new characters, new costumes, the costumes come with guns that's not allowed in the game, so you got special type of guns you can use, like crossbows, on Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, they had, I really remember they had the Gatling gun with the unlimited ammo, but it took about like two seconds to shoot, so it wasn't good, like really against the Nemesis sometimes, because he was really fast. So that's Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3. Um, then they came out with Resident Evil Code Veronica X. This I really don't know too much about. It wasn't on the PlayStation, it switched over, and it went to the Dreamcast. But the story was the same. They went back to you being as Jill. Um, I, I can't really remember the story too well. But it was a really good game. They had really good guns. Um, they had It was really nice puzzles. It was good boss spices. Like, I know Code Veronica X was good because my friend that stayed down the street that didn't really play the, all, any of all the Resident Evil I played all the Resident Evil series. He really didn't play any of them, but he seen me play some. This was one of his favorite games. Like, he loved Resident Evil Code Veronica X. Like, Code Veronica X is the shit, bro. Like, but that wasn't my favorite. But I, I can't really remember too much about it. Like, it wasn't like Resident Evil 2. Or it wasn't like Resident Evil 3 or it, you know what I'm saying? All of them was different. The, all these games evolved. The guns get crazier, the story get crazier. They they introduce new characters. I don't know if Wesker was introduced on Code Veronica X. He probably was. So I but I really can't remember. Resident Evil 4 is by far my favorite Resident Evil game that's came out. It's my favorite game that I played on any system. Everybody got their game they play. Some people might be Super Mario, Smash Brothers, Spyro the Dragon, uh, Gran Turismo, Ninja Turtles, Call of Duty, Space Jam. It's all Sonic. It's all type of games people got. Mine is Resident Evil 4. And this is probably one of my most favorite characters in PlayStation. My nigga Leon. I, I can damn near talk about why Resident Evil 4 is my favorite game, but uh, I'm just gonna talk about it as a game, period. Uh, Resident Evil 4 was based off in Mexico or somewhere like, um, I wanna say in the Dominic Republic or somewhere in Mexico or somewhere I can't, I can't remember exactly. Central America, Honduras, um, I, I can't remember. 
but it was somewhere out there where they were they uh, they spoke Spanish, and um, so the thing about it was it started off you know Leon killed a couple of zombies, and then with the demo or not with the demo when the game starts, you're in a village, and it's about twenty fucking zombies chasing your ass. And the thing about this game too, about Resident Evil Four, now what they added was it was a different a aspect of the game they added this red laser you see what i'm saying and with this motherfucker you can shoot a nigga in the head in the ear in the shoulder in the stomach in the foot you know what i'm saying if you want to hit him here if you want to hit him here if you want to hit him here if you want to shoot him in the throat repeatedly hit him times in his head you can do it they never added this in any other resident evil game so this was really big for the Resident Evil shit. Let me sip my water real quick. Hold on. So this was big for Resident Evil. The reason they added this because, nigga, now I don't even think that these wasn't zombies no more. After a while, this shit stopped being zombies. These motherfuckers actually really just start being like it was a disease and a virus. That and you know what I'm saying? It was something that people would they wasn't even biting you no more. They was heads was opening it up and they was just putting shit in people's mouths and dropping shit in people's mouths and then it'll get in their body and turn their eyes and they'll turn into a zombie. They'll turn into something, they'll die, and it was like a parasite taking over a host type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Like some faculty type of shit. So um these so what this meant was the zombies is the living dead. This didn't mean living dead. It meant it meant living dead, but still really physical of living. Not like I, I can't really explain it. But also, what I'm trying to say is they weren't zombies. So when you drop this parasite in the motherfucker, like if you seen the faculty, it's still able to think. It's still able to move. It's still able to cooperate with other motherfuckers. They can team attack me. You know what I'm saying? They can zombies really didn't team attack. It was just whatever wasn't dead, they was eating. These niggas knew what they was attacking. So when they'll chase Leon in this village and you'll try to bear you have to barricade the doors, close the doors shut, you know what I'm saying? Try to um you uh move, push shit by the windows. These niggas would be moving the shit by the doors, breaking the windows. If then you have to run upstairs, they got ladders that they'll put up to the rooms. If you knock the ladders down, the motherfuckers put the ladders back up. Then by the end, they done broke in downstairs. You gotta run downstairs, shoot these motherfuckers in the head. Then when you shoot them in the head, they had motherfucking um They'll head it explode, and then some other type of motherfucking monster will come up out of there that you have to shoot in the head again, use hella fucking bullets, a powerful gun, or throw a flashbang grenade, and that killed them instantly. So that really saved you a lot of bullets, but you you had to stay with them flashbang grenades because that shit, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes the motherfuckers would be like this close, and then they just got their head with a razor sharp thing, and if that shit damn near hits you one time, if you are if your life ain't full, you're dead. So that shit is crazy. It also had other aspects of the game to where it was like you were saving a girl and it was times to where you had to be a sniper. You know what I'm saying? And the zombies is going trying to kill her. So you got to shoot these motherfuckers before they get to her. If they pick the bitch up, you got to shoot them. You know what I'm saying? While she in her hand, and if you shoot her, you lose. And it's niggas running at you. So it's a lot going on on Resident Evil 4. You know what I'm saying? They added a dude where it was like a merchant in the middle of the game. So you can buy your guns, upload guns, um, upload guns. You can upgrade guns, make them reload faster, shoot, um, shoot them more powerful, um, give them three round bursts, different variations of pistols. Grenade lock launchers, rocket launchers. He bought treasure, so if you found like shit around the board, you can sell it to him for more money to buy big, bigger inventory cases and shit to make you heal faster. All type of shit. Resident Evil 4 had every aspect of a great. It's nothing. I see no flaws in Resident Evil 4. If anybody can say anything bad to say about Resident Evil 4 or why you didn't like it or you played it and you thought it was weak, please leave a comment. Now. Resident Evil 5, I was happy with Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil could have stopped making games at Resident Evil 4. But did they choose to? No. 
Them niggas kept going. Came out with Resident Evil 5. What is Resident Evil 5? Resident Evil 5 came out on the PS3. Um, they brought my nigga Chris back. Had him a new partner. Instead of doing somewhere, they was in Africa now. So on Resident Evil 4, I said the people had the minds in their own and thought by themselves. Resident Evil 5, another same thing. It was a parasite host taking motherfuckers over. They was in Africa. Double the zombies because why? They added a co-op mode to where now you can play with your friend if he's chilling at your house. Both of y'all can beat the story mode together or you can play with somebody online and both of y'all can beat the story mode together and that way you'll have your whole screen to play with. This has never happened in the Resident Evil series before. So once again, Resident Evil comes out with a new game and they add a new aspect to the game. And I'm saying, is does this make them better because they add new aspects every time? No. I'm just saying this is how thoughtful the creators are being and what is drawn me in as a person as a personal fan and wants me to keep playing and doesn't have me feel like I just keep buying the same game and playing the same game over and over. Quotes, Grand Theft Auto. But nobody never really heard me say that. So, you can also play as the co-op mode. At this same time, the previous Resident Evils had uh, pretty hard puzzles and difficulties and shit and the levels that you have to find and figure out. It might cost, cost you like 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. I personally remember in Resident Evil 4, they had one of those puzzles where it was like, you know, them little nine piece puzzles on the board and they got like all little individual squares and you got to move those squares individually over to make the, yeah, that shit took me about damn near two hours to do because I, I, I hate that shit, but I had to do that on that game to beat that shit. Me and my nigga Leon, we did that shit. But Resident Evil 5, Chris, Chris Redfield in Africa, he got a partner, it's a black girl. You can play on co-op mode. You um, The guns, it's not really too much puzzle in it. The action is with both of the players um, fighting, not fighting each other, but fighting the zombies and looking out for each other and having each other's backs. And they got really cool boss fights. The guns is awesome. The upgrade to the guns is cool. Um, the, the game is still challenging and it's fun. You get to play it with somebody else, which I always wanted to do in Resident Evil. So Resident Evil 5 delivered that to me. And if you haven't played like four or five, y'all definitely should check those out. Um, I even think Resident Evil 5 came out on the Xbox. Resident Evil was like a strictly PlayStation game. One, two, three. Uh, Code Veronica X, it was an exception because that's the system it made it for. I think PlayStation had like a little break or some shit. I don't know what PlayStation was doing. And then Resident Evil 4 went to PlayStation. The Resident Evil 5 was available for the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. Then that brought them to Resident Evil 6. Now, I heard Resident Evil 6 get a lot of bad crap or you know what I'm saying, but... Resident Evil 6 was a really good game. Got one of my friends to buy it. Not only did they let you play the co-op mode and they brought that back, they added new features to the guns and the movement. Now you can aim your gun with the red laser. You can die forward. You can die backwards. You can die to the side. You can die to the right. You can shoot on the ground, roll, shoot on the ground, scoop back, shoot on the ground. You can play with somebody else. Um, also, not only could you just play with one player, they had six different characters that you can play with. And each character had a different story going on in the game, a part of the world. They added new characters. They, uh, Wesker and one of the previous, like, he's like a super villain. He's basically like Venom without a fucking costume. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he had a son. They showed his son. And his son was with this one girl. His son had powers. You can melee zombies. You can shoot them, run up to them, stun them, hit them, uh, kick them, knock their head into walls, do all body slam them, do all type of shit. Like Resident Evil 6 was really fun. It was a really fun third person shooter game. You know what I'm saying? I really like Resident Evil 6. Um, like I said, I got my friend to play it. We was playing in co-op. He can play it at his house. I can play it at my house. We beat all three of the stories. We beat all the difficulties. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just, 
it gives you your money's worth. That's what you want to get when you're paying for a game, right? You want to get your money's worth. You don't want to buy a game, beat it in three or four days, and just be forced to play it online or keep trying to beat it over and over and over again just to get platinum trophies, nigga. You want to, nah. And getting platinum trophies is not beating the game over and over again. It's beating it on different challenges. It's unlocking new shit. It's not buying shit out the app store just so you, you know, that's what it is. Resident Evil 7. I want to say one of my least favorite Resident Evils. They added a new aspect. It was first person. I didn't know how that shit was going to go. They put the virtual reality in there. Um, I didn't play the virtual reality. I only played the motherfucking... Um, I played the first person and I, I played it without virtual reality. But the shit was really good. Um, really graphic game. They, they did a really good job. The only thing I would say is the game was extremely short. Extremely short. I beat it in like seven or eight hours. And I mean all the previous Resident Evil games, I without trying, like on even trying on my hardest, it was at least 17 plus hours after beating it. The first time. If you beat it, the first time it took me to beat any Resident Evil game, nigga, it was about at least 20 plus hours. I used to be like, damn, because at the end of the game, they tell you your stats, how many times you saved, how many times you died, how long it took you, da 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 da. Nigga, it used to take a nigga 20 plus hours to beat Resident Evil, nigga. And I don't mean I was sitting that, them is like weeks of playing a video game, not knowing when it was going to end. Like, is this the last boss fight? So Resident Evil 7 was really short. They put it in a house. It was a family you had to kill. Um, I almost didn't get the game, so my brother was like, uh, you ain't gonna get the game? You you done, you done played every Resident Evil game. You ain't gonna get this one? And I was like, you know what? You got a point. I'm gonna get that motherfucker. So I got it, and um, I, I like it. I liked it. It was just really short. It was a psycho family. I get that it was before everything happened, and at the end when you beat the game, you know what I'm saying? Not to spoil it, but you know what I'm saying? You see Chris, and he be like, hey, I'm Chris. I'm from the Stars team. Da, 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 da. He probably about to head on his way to the mansion. They might redo Resident Evil, um, the, the first one, and come that out with PS4 and then add some new shit to it. I don't know. But Resident Evil series and then the movies. The movies are very successful in Resident Evil. Not saying that they're the best movies there, but you can't name any other game that had movies as many movies as it did video games and i'm not saying that the movies make the game good or the game is good because it had movies i'm just saying with the thought alone of the game and the whole idea behind it it was good enough to have a whole game franchise of resident evil one th resident evil one through seven with cold veronica x and other resident evil games being exceptions like probably 10 resident evil games and that's games and with the movies I know they about 5 plus in that motherfucker so you know what I'm saying Resident Evil's my shit I love the whole aspect of the zombie apocalypse and survivor I like I, I wish I don't want to say I wish but if I lived in some shit like that I feel like I'd be ready that's why I like the walking dead so much maybe maybe not I don't know but that's my shit of my games that I like of my game that I like and my favorite game and why I feel it's my favorite game if this video can reach motherfucking 60 likes I would do a video on why I feel Grand Theft Auto is a horrible game and I think people that play it shouldn't play it or they just sheep so that's that's my idea it's your nigga Ice City 5-1 motherfucking up I can't believe I did this video and I finished. Uh, like, subscribe, Uptown 510, Ice City 510, Uptown Jackson, UTJ 420, all the shit, man. Just 2018, bitches. Hemp kind this week. This weekend, I'm going today. I'm going to get real high. Um, I might have some lives. So check out my live video footage. If you've if you seen this, check out my live footage uh, today on YouTube. It's going to be at uh, 3 o'clock my time, so 6 o'clock your time, or 4 o'clock my time, 7 o'clock east, west. How, how the shit go? I don't know if you're in Australia, nigga. I'm, I'm in California. Figure the shit out.